So we we've missed Diana. In fact, any week we don't do a reaction and analysis to her. You actually have that um, feeling that something is missing. That's how far we've come with Diana. You know, we've got so used to her, so used to her saying that if we haven't done a reaction analysis of her for about a week or two. You begin to notice. So um, here is Diana and Kudinova. Maybe I, maybe you. Sounds familiar. Let's go. She's growing up so fast. Amazing. If she goes on like this, she's going to turn to a legend, especially in Russia, because um, she's really good. She's really unique, special. This voice is amazing. All you need is to hear the voice of your heart. Kind of interesting the way she's combining English and um, I think Russian language and in this song she's going all out with her deep voice yeah the voice that makes her stand out The one thing I noticed about Diana is that she's quite a humble person. You know, someone who has made a name like this so far, you see her in different stage stages. Like here, it's not really like a big or huge concert. But what you notice about Diana is that she puts in her best as if it's a massive concert with, uh, th with, uh, with thousands of people. Probably not up to like a thousand people here, but whether it, she's um, performing in front of 10 people, in front of 100 people, in front of a thousand people, it doesn't make any difference to her. She, I notice she puts in her best. Even if it's for one person, I'm sure she'll do the same thing. She'll put in her best performance. You know, um, she's really humble. That's what it tells me. Because, you know, when you get so you know, famous, some some artists may get so famous like this and easily get carried away and they ask like how many people will come to the place and if it's not to the amount they're thinking like a thousand upward or something like that yeah they would um decline the offer yeah it happens but she's a humble person and humble people really go too far but the world would be cold dreamers like you maybe I maybe you are just soldiers of love bringing spirit of hope bringing light to the dark yep quite typical of how to sing with emotion Uh-huh. 
It's amazing how she can push the voice up into almost a mixed voice range, if not mixed voice, and still able to maintain that deep tone. She went sky, but it was still deep. She really pushed it and it was comfortable for her. I probably wouldn't do that myself. That's head voice, that's head voice for you. Let's see, she's gonna end it with vibrato because that's just what I'm thinking now. Oh. Not this time, not this time. Well, it's good because as an artist you need to be, or as a singer, even though you have a good vibrato, you can do vibrato, you need to have control of it to be able to switch it on and off as you please. Some, some singers, they know how to sing with vibrato, but they don't know how to switch it off or not do it. It's always there. If you tell them to sing with that vibrato, it's still there. They don't know how to not sing with it. So um, it's a great thing when you come to that level. And, and there's some, as well, some singers who desire to sing with vibrato. Or the, to, who desire to sing with vibrato, yes. They don't sing with vibrato because vibrato makes your singing very, very professional and complete. Yeah, so it has to be a balance between the two. You, you need to be able to sing with vibrato and be able to control it. Maybe switch it on and off as you please. All right, thank you. That's it from me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for sharing this link, sending it to me. More, more. I have more actually in my list. But yeah, keep sending it. Keep sending it. Bye-bye.